for a fact it was a joke and it wasn't supposed to be a threat. No joking matter why media has changed the world of sarcasm and how local officials plan to increase the punishment for online threats. Thanks for choosing 23 ABC News at 5. I'm Tim Callahan. Jackie Parks is on assignment tonight. And I'm Todd Carley. A 16-year-old boy is at Juvenile Hall tonight after being arrested for posting an alleged online threat against Liberty High School. Officials say that boy is now being charged with uh, public nuisance. It began with comments on a social media app called Yik Yak earlier this week. In it, an anonymous person posted a threat that mentioned a Sandy Hook style attack on the high school. Police say Yik Yak assisted them in locating the teenager by tracking him to his cell phone. Now, even though every one we spoke with today said they considered the post on Yik Yak to be sarcastic, officials say the current environment leaves little room for joking on social media. Police say any threat has to be investigated. 23 BC's Chris Ornella spoke to students and parents at Liberty today, and some say they're glad there was an arrest. People 23 ABC spoke to say they hadn't heard someone was arrested for making a violent threat against the school on Yik Yak. It's a joke, but still, you don't joke about that. Most were relieved. Well, I knew it was like a joke, but just because they made the threat, uh, I mean, they have to do what they have to do for the safety of like all the people at Liberty. Police say they arrested the 16-year-old boy at his home near Stockdale and Allen and charged him with public nuisance, a misdemeanor. Yik Yak is supposed to be anonymous, but police say they tracked down the source of the threat in one day. Yik Yak was cooperative. It did take some, you know, the, the issuance of some search warrants. Anonymous sites that they have, like, it's not really anonymous at all. If they really need to, like, know who said it, they'll find out. Jack Moshi says he's been best friends with the suspect for years. This was something he shouldn't have done, posted on Yik Yak. I, I, I know that, but... I know for a fact it was a joke and it wasn't supposed to be a threat. Police say the teen had no weapons and no access to weapons. But even though it was a sick joke, police aren't laughing. It is not a joke and we will follow up on each and every one of these and we will uh, conduct investigations and our effort will be to get somebody in custody each and every time. Police are so serious about stemming the tide of online threats, they are using this incident as an opportunity to work with legislators to change the law so a threat against a school can be charged as a felony. Chris Ornelas, 23 ABC.